Duchess, did you let yourself between the pillow and all of Daddy's stuff? Hey folks and welcome back to Around Our World in 80 Seconds. Today I want to talk about the Gregory backpack that I received for Christmas and give a little bit of a review about it. Before I get started talking about the Gregory backpack, I wanted to give you guys an idea of where I was coming from. Uh, we originally bought me an Osprey, um, RF, it's a 50 liter. Um, this was what we originally got when we registered at REI for our wedding. And it's been a great backpack. Um, some of the things that I didn't like about it specifically were the front pockets. Um, they have two, one on this side, one on this side. But you can't necessarily go through the pockets to each other. And then the only way to get in and out of the pack is through the top. Um, Jared's Osprey does have a zipper that allows you to open it in the middle, so if you need to access something in the middle of the pouch, you don't have to take everything out in order to access it. The other thing that I did not necessarily like about this backpack is that the frame is actually a little bit big for me. I have this awkward torso length where the mediums are a little bit too big and the smalls are a little bit too small. And with this backpack, you just can't cinch it down enough to where it doesn't bounce. Um, it's manageable when you're only going out for two or three days, um, but it's not necessarily the most comfortable thing in the world. Now, this is the Gregory Jade. It's a 38 that I um, got for Christmas, and it's been awesome. It has a little bit smaller of a frame, so it doesn't bounce around whenever I carry it. I um, can basically open it up as much as I need to, and I still have some extra strap left. Um, and then that way it's not going like this on my back um, with everything in it. It has some really nice features like I mentioned. It does have the zipper that goes right here down the middle. And so I can actually open up this entire front section and get to things that are in the bottom or the middle of the pack without having to take everything out of the top, which is very, very nice. Um, there's a lot of straps. It was a little bit confusing to figure out at first, um, but you have this whole front uh, easy catch-all right here. Um, there's a little spot, so it, it does come with a rain cover, which is very exciting. And if I end up strapping my sleeping bag to the bottom, the rain cover does actually extend all the way around a sleeping bag. Um, it has the standard side. Um, straps right here so you can put your water bottle in and then strap it up. And then the other thing that I really really like is the top flap. The, the top section of this is a much larger space than on my Osprey. And so usually what I put up here are things like my wallet, um, my keys, any electronics that I use on a regular basis, any snacks. Um, and having it all up here and still having some room left is very, very nice. As far as comfort goes, it is very comfortable. Um, the mesh is really, really breathable back here. It has a nice frame. Um, the padding is really, really nice right here. You have your standard adjustable tension straps on the shoulder pads. And the hip belt fits me really, really well. Even when we went um, hiking when I was five weeks pregnant, I was able to make sure that these weren't pushing too hard on my stomach so that everything was safe and comfy. The only downside to this backpack that I have found is the fact that it's only 38 liters. So if I was going out for longer than one or two nights, I would definitely need to go up to the Osprey, which is my 50 liter uh, capacity. But what I really like about this size is if I am going out for just an overnight or maybe two nights, pretty much everything fits. If I'm going out with Jared, he is able to make sure that all the gear fits if it doesn't fit in my bag because he has a like 60 something liter backpack. Um, and I'm also really liking this. I actually take this on trips with me even if I'm not camping. I used it for Disneyland. Um, I used it for, you know, 
going to Austin, um, just really small trips. And it's nice because you're nice and mobile and the pack is easy to carry around and you're not having to slug around a bunch of different bags through the airport. Really, really happy with this backpack. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.